So we've got £20 split between five shares. So £20 divided by five will give a value of £4 per share. So the ratio of two will have two lots of £4, which is £8. And the ratio of three will have three lots of £4, which is £12. You know it's correct because they add to make £20. So £24 now divided into a total of eight shares gives a value of £3 per share. So you'll have three lots of £3 which is £9 and five lots of £3 which is £15 and again they add to make the total amount which is £24. Simon and Becky divide £1.75 between the ratio of net ages. Well, to make this a little bit simpler, we can simplify this ratio of 10 to 15 by dividing by the highest common factor, which is five. So you could simplify it to two to three. So £1.75 divided by a total of five shares gives 35 pence per share. Simon has got two of these, which will be two times 35 pence, 70 pence, and Becky has three of them shares, which comes to the difference between £1.75 and 70 pence, so Becky gets £1.5 pence. And the last question, we need to know about angles in a quadrilateral and they add up to 360 degrees. And the total amount of shares is 3, add 5, add 6, add 4, which is 18 shares. So the value of one share will be 360 divided by 18, which is 20 degrees per share. And splitting the ratio of 3 to 5 to 6 to 4, we have 3 lots of 20 degrees, which is 60 degrees, 100, which is 5 times 20, 120, which is 6 times 20, and 80 degrees, which is 4 times 20. And we know it's correct because they all add up to 360 degrees. Thank you for watching. I do hope you found that useful. Check out the link in the description for the full lesson.